Our, our final session of the day, uh, this is actually uh, exciting for me, um, probably because I need to get out more, but I think it's exciting when independent advisors and BGAs can expand into a completely different area, and we're talking about Medicare expansion. Um, right, we have uh, Brian Doyle um, and uh, Amanda Raymond, both of, of uh, Care Value Inc. If you guys want to just move a little closer together or turn your camera sideways, because I only see Ah. Half of Brian's shoulder and half of Amanda's shoulder. All right. Well, you know what? <laughs> um, maybe we'll scoot in and out of the camera. It looks like it's it's a tight crop today. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, you know, we'll we'll do it. We'll do a little virtual dance here. Brian, why don't we start off with you? I mean, um, we haven't had the chance to meet in person. I'm still getting to know a little bit about Care Value, but I was really, really, really interested. I actually had a gentleman who's uh, in in a BGA leadership role come to me and talk about. Um, you know the BGA uh, advancing their advancing their um, their their strategic plan into the Medicare space, and obviously that takes time. That takes education, professional development. Uh, there's only a few BGAs that handle the handle the med sub kind of things. But um, you know, Nelba has 300,000 advisors following us. Um, you know, Medicare it's it's um, it's cryptic to many. Um, so sorry to, to, to digress there a little bit, but tell us a little bit about yourself, care value. And then I'd love if you would take a stab at my, at my, my observation and my question there. Absolutely, Dan. First, thank you so much for having us today. It's a pleasure to be here and be a part of this event. And I'd like to start you. by giving you a little background on how I started in the insurance industry before establishing care value. I started in the insurance industry as a captive agent with combined insurance back in 1996. And I was a poster child for Combine. I won every award that they offered. <laughs> Throughout the 11 years, I was qu quickly promoted from an agent to a sales manager and then to a branch manager after achieving 64 degrees of Grand Diamonds, which was their most prestigious award. Yeah. And uh, I then left Combine in a 2007. I recognized that the industry was very antiquated and that agents had many pain points. So. I decided my efforts would be best served with developing technology for independent agents. So I formed Care Value. It is a family business that was incorporated in August of 2010. And next month will be our 10 year anniversary. I'm looking forward to some awesome virtual events from our creative team. Awesome, awesome. We are a national marketing organization that is licensed and appointed in all 50 states. We offer competitive commissions paid directly by the carrier with national and regional A-rated companies specializing in the Medicare and life markets. What I'm most proud of is the fact that I can relate well with agents and understand their pain points because I'm cut from the same cloth. Sure, sure. Let's 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 expand a little bit on that. Um, pain points. Um, advisors have many. Independent advisors struggle. You know, if you watch a, a forum or a, a Facebook private group. I mean, the amount of questions that, that first off populate the feed is significant. And of course, you know, BGAs cannot be successful without successful independent advisors. It's, it's how we work. So you wanna share just some thoughts on, on some of the pain points, like what moved you to create care value? I mean, wh what are those pain points that you saw that you continue to see? Uh, agents are awesome salespeople, but they're terrible at anything administrative. Um, I, I would say that the pain point being organized, um, accessing quality leads, dispositioning the leads, everything from submission to commission is a pain point for an agent if they don't have technology, especially in the Medicare space. Right, right. Um, let's bring Amanda in, Brian, since she moved to the side and, and, and left you there a little bit. A Amanda, I wanna throw a question your way. Um, you know. Brian had alluded to some of the pain points and some of the um, um, trends that he sees. What are you seeing around trends for life insurance agents and financial advisors to expand into the Medicare space? Oh yeah, that's a great question. And and you know even though our bread and butter is Medicare, we work with a lot of financial advisors and life insurance agents. And what we're finding is that you know with the the trends in the industry there's been a struggle to maintain the same standard of living that they've grown accustomed to. Um, there's a limited number of carrier options in select markets. There's issues with yeah. policies being issued, clients maintaining their premiums over time. 
and also uh, commissions have decreased over time. So Medicare has been a great viable solution to financial planners. Um, it's a great way to supplement their income and it really complements the fact finding process when you think about the consultation as a financial advisor. So instead of referring that business out, a lot of the financial advisors are choosing to complete certification themselves and finding out that you know they've done their series six and 63 and they've passed them and they're going, wow, this, this AHIP test this is nothing, it's a breeze. Um, so that's, that's kind of the transition we're seeing is they're enveloping Medicare into their book of um, their portfolio of products. Amanda, I also, because I know you oversee marketing and product development, but I want to give you the award for today because you are the only one that put the brand of your company behind you. And it was something that I was talking with my team about saying, you know, we have 576 people that registered for this event. And, and I, I mean, I'm granted, I have the band of brothers, so it's personal to me, but you guys took advantage of the brand opportunity. So <laughs> well, well, clearly- I I you, wish you we know could flip it. I don't know how to flip it, but I think you're reading it backwards. So I apologize for that. Next time we'll have to do some <laughs> reverse setting on the camera. Well, at least you took advantage of the branding opportunity. So let me let me get one more question to you. And then Brian, I want to bring you back in to wrap it up. But so how is Care Value expanding? Uh, I'm sorry, not expanding, but more supporting its agents, its agencies, its agents. Uh, I mean, during a challenging times with with Medicare Value. So, you know, whether you're a Johnny Joe agent, you're just starting out, or you're a seasoned agent, there, there's a lot of challenges right now. And it's a challenge just to meet with clients. Um, some prefer to meet in person with social distancing and, and best practices in place, but others aren't comfortable at all in a face-to-face -face sitting, regardless of any precautions. So we have to be um, adapting and continuing to be flexible to meet our clients' needs and demands and preferences. Um, you know, actually, we would love to try to share a couple videos. We believe they'll help tell the story of care value, Medicare value, and the digital transformation we're fueling. Um, so let me see if that's something we can set up. Um, let's do, bear with me. You're good. There okay. we go. So hopefully you can hear the audio. We're going to turn it on and, and see if it's a success. If not, let us know. We'll just we'll stop sharing. Go ahead and press play. I'm, I'm all set. I've been an insurance agent for a decade. And over that time, Medicare has changed. With all its intricacies, it's no surprise that the majority of my clients are confused by the Medicare system. Definitely. As a young insurance agent, I'm even learning new things about Medicare insurance and its complexity. Most people know they become eligible for Medicare when they turn 65, but the Medicare maze is neither clear to navigate or very accessible. With all these moving parts and choices within Medicare, it can be extremely confusing for consumers. Medicare Value is a CMS-approved enrollment platform that simplifies the process of comparing Medicaid options with clients. It's easy to use, like an online insurance exchange. All you need to get started is your client's zip code. From there, you can view all the Medicare Value plans available in your client's area. The Medicare Value website lets you sort and filter plans based on monthly premiums, maximum out-of-pocket expenses, and carriers. The co-pays and prescription drug deductibles are clearly displayed as well. I've been helping people find the right insurance plans for years. Medicare Value has made it easier than ever for me to help my clients find the plan that most suits their needs. Awesome, awesome. I, I think the the audio w was just enough that we could we can make it out. But what I'd like you to do is is um, we can make sure that video is uh, uploaded into your booth, and then um, uh, the the attendees can can see that again in, in a little bit more clear fashion. And John, if you could bring uh, Brian uh, back, because I, I want to finish up with the question because I I had done some research on my own about care value, and I saw that there was the the reference to the life insurance. Uh, uh, market center and how agents are using that. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get them to come back on. I think they just have to click the uh, share audio and video again, and we can we can get them in and give it a give it a second or two here. Here we go. Back. Got you back, Brian. See, look at that. I mean, we're in virtual formats and we're not losing people. This is great. Modern day technology. It's a beautiful thing. 
It is, Brian. Let, let's 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 wrap it up and put a ball on this because uh, again, uh, we want to share uh, about a little bit more about Care Value. But talk a little bit about that life insurance market center. Obviously, that's that's Nelba's. Uh, you know, that, that's our in our wheelhouse. So um, just a little bit about how agents are using it, and then we could we could uh, cut you back to your regular scheduled program. Absolutely, Dan. Our life insurance market center is a digital life product comparison tool and a one-stop marketing shop for agents. It is a go-to resource for consumer marketing. We generate content on a regular basis like videos, recipes, workouts, and articles that encompass life insurance topics such as life's major milestones and the importance of coverage. The marketing... Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, please marketing. keep going. Yeah. yeah. Be, no, I expand on that a little bit because it's... I'm, I'm sounding it. I'm, I'm hearing it like it's it's obviously a resource center for agents. I mean, they're going to shop different products. They're going to shop different plans. They're going to go what's right, what's best and what's in their fiduciary role to make sure is, is the best product for the customer. So it sounds like you're offering uh, a lot of different resources to, to aid in that decision. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a great marketing tool that can be shared across social platforms. Um, you can add it as a feed to websites, use it in your email signature, or even leverage it for a client newsletter. The goal is with Life Insurance Market Center to provide agents with additional touch points to interact with their clients, which mm -hmm. ultimately strengthens their relationships and position them as a trusted advisor. Brian, all, all, all virtual offerings, I mean, a way that an agent could sort of, you know, we talked about some of the agent pain points and clearly some struggle with building out their digital footprint or having the resources to build out their digital footprint. So content is king, right? Absolutely. I want to thank uh, you and Amanda for uh, spending the time with me and giving us all a little bit more information about care value. And, and uh, we'll look to engage you other ways with Nelva moving forward, but your information will be, uh, we'll, we'll have that either uploaded or I don't know, John will figure it out. I'm, I'm just the face <laughs> that, that people have been looking at for four hours. If there's any follow-up questions, feel free to swing by the booth to get a chance to meet Chris, one of our sales directors and our team that can help answer any questions. Awesome, Brian, Amanda, thank you so much. Great to great to e-meet you. And I look forward to uh, either e-meeting again or seeing you in person. <laughs> Absolutely. Awesome, well, that wraps up a fantastic Nelba virtual symposium, obviously complimentary to the entire uh, industry. Uh, so much great information shared from what's going on with underwriting and touchless solutions and 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 how we're measuring measuring risk management and economic forecasts. I mean, this is this is what Nelva is known for. This is how we elevate the entire independent distribution uh, industry together. Um, we, I want to thank all of our sponsors: Insurance Technologies, LexisNexis, Pacific Life, uh, um, Care Value. Uh, of course, I want to thank all of the speakers who dedicated and donated their time. Um, don't forget, we have a, a complimentary print piece coming out with all kinds of interesting data that some of some of which you heard today, some of which you'll learn uh, in the, uh, again, I'm going to tout it when I can, in the association's number one e-publication perspective. So take a look at that. Uh, if you weren't able to catch the entire show, well, this this will be available for download. Uh, Nelba will continue to be the voice of independent brokerage distribution. We're going to continue to market our products and, and offer professional development to over 1,400 BGAs. We're going to continue to share our information with 300,000 independent advisors. Our digital footprint is simply unrivaled. Um, and most importantly, you heard earlier today, Nelba will be launching a, in the fall a case manager certification because that is the way to get faster placement increase your placement, and it'll be done through Nelba's case manager culture that we're creating. Um, I want to thank John Kia for the man being the man behind the glass, Pam Sheehan, Joangel Concepcion, uh, the entire Nelba team, all of our partners and carrier providers. Uh, thank you for checking in. Thank you for spending the day with us. Um, Nelba is the voice of independent, independent brokerage distribution, and you can see us more at nelba.org. Thanks so much. I wish you safety health, and a happy day. Enjoy it.